work. Any form of smacking or physical discipline has been found to have a negative effect on children. Professor Sophie Havoc has she says there's evidence that shows 16 to 24 year olds have developed anxiety and depression when smacked in their younger days. Advocates agree and they're pushing to make it a criminal offence based on the evidence. Scott Maiman for CBS News, Canberra, Australia. Sports in 50 seconds. The following is a paid commercial announcement. Were you abused by a priest or clergy member? You are not alone, and we can help you hold the church accountable, regardless of your age, and even if your abuse was most recently. Thousands of victims of sex abuse and violence are significant complications, but the deadline is quickly approaching. So call Stop Breaking Abuse right now. Your call is free, private, and confidential. If you can go back to the abuse regime, you may be able to help, but time is limited, so call now. Catholic Diocese have paid more than $3 billion to victims, with the average national settlement at $268.60. California, the settlements are much higher. Call 855-43-ABUSE now, or soon you may forever lose your chance to file a claim. You can't change the past, but you can't be compensated for it. Call 855-43-ABUSE. A representative is standing by to help. Call 855-43-ABUSE. That's 855-43-ABUSE. Coming up on KCBS, a warning about Halloween candy that really didn't need to go out. KCBS News Time is 12.15. Time now for sports football. The 49ers played a nearly perfect second half in Los Angeles Sunday afternoon, scoring 21 unanswered points to beat the Rams 31-14. NBA play, the Warriors fell to Detroit in Detroit, 128-114. With more sports, here's KCBS's Stephen Langford. In the NBA's pursuit to make games more competitive, the league has made a proposal to make a systemic change within team spending, as NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski had to report on ESPN. The NBA is proposing an upper spending limit, which certainly acts as a hard salary cap for a league that has uh, a luxury tax system that right now has three teams in Brooklyn, Golden State, and the Clippers, uh, who comprise over 60% of the luxury tax payments in the league. The NBA currently has a soft salary cap, meaning if the team spends past the cap that is set by the league, they have to pay a penalty. The Warriors spent a whopping $346 million in luxury tax on their roster last season, with reports surfacing during the finals that other owners were grumbling about the Warriors' spending. So far, this proposal has been met with significant pushback by the Players' Union. At the Sports Desk, I'm Stephen Langford, KCBS. There's a reason Comcast Business powers more businesses than any other provider. Actually, there's a few. Comcast Business offers the fastest reliable network, the peace of mind that comes with security edge, helping to protect all your connected devices, and the most reliable 5G mobile network. Want me to keep going? I can. Whether your small business is starting or growing, you need Comcast Business. Technology solutions that put you ahead and give you serious savings. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Get started with fast speeds and advanced security for just $49.99 a month for 12 months with no annual contract. Plus, ask how to get up to a $750 prepaid card with a qualifying bundle. Offer ends 12-5-2022. Restrictions apply. New Comcast Business, 50 megabits per second area and security edge customers only. Equal bill and auto pay required. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. Most reliable based on Root Metrics US report. Results vary, not an endorsement. <laughs> Weekend plans? Take us along for the ride. Yeah, sure, there's Alcatraz and the crookedest street in the world, even Pier 39. But the heart of San Francisco can be found right here. Day, night, and weekend. We keep you up to date on the news, traffic, and weather. It's one more reason why we're the Bay Area's number one news station. San Francisco's got the best food of all kinds, man, from street food to four-star restaurants, right? I just love the restaurants. All news, all the time. Right here on KCBS. We also have traffic 24-7. Let's look at the roads right now. Here's Frank Munich. Well, we're uh, looking at a uh, problem on uh, city streets. Uh, this is uh, Ian Copper, Creek Boulevard, and Cherry Lane. Uh, we have a report of a single car crash. One car slammed into a tree there. So we have a uh, number of emergency crews on scene at that intersection. In the Napa Valley, Westbound 12, just past Kirkland Branch.
Orange Road. We have an accident involving a car that uh, slammed uh, into the right-hand shoulder and another car uh, that's caught out in the center divide, that left-hand shoulder. <clears throat> And we have a heavy fog advisory uh, in effect for the San Mateo Highlands, uh, the hills above Half Moon Bay, right at that uh, Highway 92 Skyline Boulevard, uh, 9235 uh, interchange. And when we do have heavy fog there, you can also likely expect uh, some pretty, fog, uh, pretty, pretty heavy fog along that stretch of uh, 280 between uh, San Mateo and Burlingame. Your next update at 1228 on the traffic leader KCBS. Mostly cloudy Monday with patchy morning fog. Highs ranging from the upper 50s at the coast to the upper 60s inland. Rain could arrive in the Bay Area. Late Monday night, it uh, is expected to be rainy on Tuesday, and there is a chance of rain on Wednesday. It's also going to be cool for the rest of the week with highs in the 50s and 60s. Right now, in San Francisco, Cupertino, Concord, and San Mateo, it's 52 degrees. In Calistoga, it's 50 degrees. Traffic and weather together on the 8th on All News 1069 and AM 740 KCBS. KCBS News Time is 1220. It's being updated the annual Halloween warning about checking your kids' trick or treat bag for bad things. As we hear from KCBS's Jim Taylor, this year's warning as much nonsense as in years past. You know, since we were kids, there have been scary stories told about needles or razor blades in trick-or-treat candy. And the warning became about drugs, as if dealers were trying to get kids hooked. But a researcher of what he calls Halloween sadism, Joel Best, says his data goes back to 1958. His principal finding, pretty simple, no evidence that any child has ever been seriously injured by a contaminated treat picked up in the course of trick-or-treating. Never. And yet, when the TSA came across a few thousand fentanyl pills in some candy boxes at LAX, the panicky warnings came out again, telling parents to inspect their kids' candy for narcotics. As researcher Best points out, drugs do tend to cost more than candy. The suggestion that a school-aged kid would go from accidental user of fentanyl to a, a paying addict, pretty far-fetched. Trick or treat. Jim Taylor, KCBS. With Halloween now here, today is Halloween. Calif California public health officials are reminding people with children to keep their candy-flavored cannabis edibles away from the kids. Products with THC like gummies, lollipops, and brownies can be easily mistaken for regular sweets by children and can cause serious illness or even death in some cases for kids. California's Department of Public Health says it has been seen an increase in cases of children accidentally eating hemp-derived products. It recommends keeping edibles stored in a locked location and not consuming them in front of children. A just-released study says people who work remotely are most likely to be laid off first if a recession occurs. We get more from reporter Emily Valdez. The group Beautiful AI asked 3,000 managers about the future of remote workers, among other things. 60% said people working from home would be laid off first when times get tough. Tiffany Martinez is with Otter Public Relations. You have a CEO or a company that is invested probably in real estate, really leasing or owning, and they have a vested interest in having people in that building. Andy Challenger is an employment expert with Challenger Brain Christmas. If your employers, your managers don't know you, they don't know personal things about you, they don't uh, think of you as a person uh, that they spend time with in the office, you're just more likely to get put on the list of, of people that get their uh, jobs taken away. He tells KNX remote workers might want to go into the office a bit more, get to know the people they work for so they can hopefully keep working when the pink slips go out. Emily Valdez, KCBS. We'll have an early morning look at your money in just 60 seconds. You have done an amazing job guiding your business through the pandemic. Now you're staring down inflation. I bet you could use a financial break from all of that. Check this out. This is Claire Beverly. And if your business has five or more employees, you could be eligible to get a payroll tax rebate of up to $26,000.